This video will show you how to do inverse Laplace transform by first shift and completing the square. What is completing the square? Basically, suppose I have an expression, say x square plus bx. Completing the square say that this is equal to bracket x plus b over 2 square it minus b over 2 square. Take for example, x square plus 10x is equal to x plus 10 over 2 square minus 10 over 2 square. That is x plus 5 square minus 5 square. Another example. Let's say I have x square minus 6x. This is equal to x square plus negative 6 times x. So b is equal to negative 6 now. After computing the square, this is equal to bracket x plus negative 6 over 2 square minus negative 6 over 2 square. Or x minus 3 square minus minus 3 square. Since minus 3 square is the same as 3 square, therefore this is equal to x minus 3 square minus 3 square. We will use first shift and completing the square to solve this inverse Laplace transform problems. The first example is inverse Laplace transform of s over s square minus 10 s plus 29. Let's do a completing the square first. s square minus 10 s plus 29. Let's focus on s square minus 10 s. This is equal to s plus minus 10 over 2 square minus minus 10 over 2 square then plus 29 by focusing the first two terms and do completing the square. And this is equal to s minus 5 square and minus minus 5 square plus 29. But we know minus 5 square is the same as 5 square equal to 25. So this is equal to s minus 5 square minus 25 plus 29. And now we combine the last two terms minus 25 plus 29 is 4. So this is s minus 5 square plus 4 or s minus 5 square plus 2 square. After we have completing the square, we are ready to solve this inverse Laplace transform problem. Now this is equal to inverse 
Laplace transform of s over s minus 5 square plus 2 square as we have completed the square earlier. Now I'm going to do a shifting. Apply the first shift. I'm going to shift s minus 5 to s. By doing so, s will be shifted to s plus 5 as well. Therefore, after the shifting, this is equal to inverse Laplace transform of the denominator become s square plus 2 square after I shift s minus 5 to s. By doing the shifting, s was shifted to s plus 5. Now this is not equal unless we balance it by multiplying e power 5t, where the 5 is coming from how much you have shifted. So now we split the fraction here, e power 5t times inverse Laplace transform of s over s square plus 2 square plus inverse Laplace transform of 5 over s square plus 2 square. Looking at the table, inverse Laplace transform of s over s square plus a square is cosine a t. So the first term I know is equal to e power 5t times cosine 2t. Now for the second term, I must take out the 5 and then replace the 5 by 2. So actually multiply by 2 and then divide by half. So the whole term becomes 5 over 2 and inverse Laplace transform of a over a square plus s square is sine a t. So this will give us sine 2t. So that finish this example. The second example will be inverse Laplace transform of 2s minus 3 over s square plus 2s plus 17. First, we are complete the square in the denominator. s square plus 2s plus 17. If we focus on the first two term, s square plus 2s, this is equal to s plus 1 square minus 1 square, then plus 17. And then we will combine the last two terms, minus 1 plus 17 is 16. So this is s plus 1 square plus 16, or s plus 1 square plus 4 square. So this is the inverse Laplace transform of 2s minus 3 over s 
plus 1 square plus 4 square. Now I'm going to do a shifting. Shift S plus 1 to S. That means I have minus 1 from S plus 1 to get S. If this is done, then S will become S minus 1. So if we do the shifting, this is inverse Laplace transform of S plus 1 square is S square now, and plus 4 square. And now, 2 times S, where S after shifting is S minus 1, then minus 3. So I have done the shifting, S plus 1 to S, and S to S minus 1. After the shifting, the equality will not hold unless we multiply by e power minus 1 times t, where the minus 1 comes from here. So, after we simplify, this e power minus t inverse Laplace transform of 2 times s minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5 over s square plus 4 square. And we split the inverse Laplace transform as inverse Laplace transform of 2s over s square plus 4 square minus inverse Laplace transform of 5 over s square plus 4 square. First of all, we can use linearity. This is 2 times inverse Laplace transform of s over s square plus 4 square minus 5 inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s square plus 4 square. Checking a table, the first term is 2 times cosine 4t since a is equal to 4 now. And then for the second term, we need to do a balancing. We need a 4 in the numerator. And so we must divide a 4. And then we check the table again. This time, we should get sine 4t. So the final answer is equal to e power minus t times 2 cosine 4t minus 5 over 4 sine 4t. That finished the example.